Grand Mrs. Tease, there is an interesting process in which burgers are made. First, the filling is made and sent down the line. Then the dough is stuffed with the filling, pressed together, and sent down the line for inspection. And the workers inspect the progies to make sure that there are no errors. After that, the progies are placed in boxes and bags and are stored in freezers until sold. They are placed in freezers to keep them fresh longer. I'm actually the process control programmer, all-encompassing whatever you need me to do type of guy. My goal, my job, is to keep this plant running. So when I go out onto the floor, all the machines that are out there are running controllers, processors, well that's my world. I'm here to supplement the success of this company from the mechanical, electrical programming standpoint. When we develop our products, we have what's called an ideation process. So we develop the product in our kitchen, in our lab, we cut them every day when we make them. When we finally get comfortable with it, we scale it up to actually do a manufacturing line test. So we actually make product online. I'm Tony Burt. I'm a PR assistant manager here. How we start off with marketing is so we research who, like, who are our consumers, right? And then we find out what our demand is. So that's when we start working with, uh, of course, advertising to social media. To PR, we do events, but we also make sure of, um, like I said, media. So we make sure, like, you see us anywhere in the news, how Mrs. T's brand is portrayed and that everything is, you know, positive, and that's really where PR is. Hi, my name's Jackie Suazo, and I am the production manager here at Mrs. T's Pierogies. So we're responsible for taking a sales forecast and making it happen on the production floor. It's probably one of the last things that happens before the product goes to our customers. And there's a lot that needs to be done in order to support that. There are a variety of opportunities for growth within companies like this one. And there are many different types of education that can apply to the manufacturing industry, such as food science, sales and marketing, programming and engineering, business and mechanics. That's what's cool about manufacturing!